introduction on flow control before that find more in description yes in the title we have mentioned a killer introduction at the end you will come to know whether it is a killer introduction or it's a normal introduction so agenda is as usual so what is can tp what is flow control what is single frame what is consecutive frame as well as what is first frame is yes, that we have missed in the agenda yes so after this tutorial is after this five or six minutes you will come to know what exactly the flow control is and what is the uh, significance and uniqueness of the flow control consecutive frame single frame etc so before that if you are not subscribed our channel please do subscribe and at the end of the tutorial yes you will definitely come to know and strong in the concept of flow control and moreover this is a part one yes so this is kind of simple story so this uh, girl is serving or this mom is serving food to this guy so he is eating so just to imagine he is completely eating this food after he wants some food the mom needs some space to put the food into the plate so this concept is exactly relates to the flow control so you will come to know at the end so this is a simple layman example so you are not required to be a you know automotive engineer or automotive expert to uh, aware on this so even a school student if it watch this tutorial he or she can come to know about the flow control or can transport protocol so just imagine this is ecu this cute girl is cute little girl is a ecu and her mom is a tester all right fine so they are she is just serving food to this uh, uh, small little girl that is the tester is giving food to the ecu let's have see in this plate the mom has given the plate with less data that is the food is very less so this is a data okay so this uh, food is nothing but the data so we can uh, consider this is a data so she is serving a food to this little girl that is ecu so in our term we can tell the tester is sending the data sending the request or sending the data to the ecu so here the mom is serving the food to the that is less food to the uh, daughter her daughter that is a little cute girl all right so so how she can uh, you know how she can serve the food she used to serve using this single frame that is the plate so here we consider this plate as a single frame but as, as the food is uh, very good the girl finds there is n number of foods there is more and more food are available so this is in our term we can tell this is a more data so this girl is looking for the more food there is more data but she want uh, she she knows she cannot accommodate it in the single plate that is in the single frame so what she is thinking to do she she wants to give them multiple plates that is n number of plates she just calculating i mean she just looking at how many plates is required to accommodate this um, food so that that much plate she is giving to her mom to serve in the plate so this is called flow control so again we'll come to our terminology first tester is sending see tester is sending more uh, set, uh, tester is sending uh, data to the ecu with the less data using single frame as the data is uh, less than 7 bytes or equal less than or equal to 7 bytes the single frame is enough to serve that is single frame is enough to request but as much the ecu expects the expects more data to send so the ecu needs yeah the ecu come to know that it needs to send the flow control that means it needs to give a more number of plate to the tester so the tester can accommodate all the data and put into the uh, flow control that is all the frames then she can serve so this is a concept of uh, flow control so simple you are serving few data then only one frame is required that is only one frame is more than enough but if you want to uh, trans transmit more number of data then you need n number of frames that is n number of uh, frames for uh, uh, for acknowledge the n number of frame then we need the flow control so that this uh, girl is giving the plate so what happens then the mom is happily serving the food in each plate see we have a number of plate so all the or in all these plates the mom is serving little, little food so that it accommodates and it satisfies the little girl that is the tester wants to send a number of data then ecu wants to send the flow control frame so flow control frame is nothing but the frame which which the testers wants to send in the consecutive frame so here this is a single frame if it is a see if it is a 
see the concept is if it is uh, less data so you it is required to send only one frame that is called first frame sorry single frame but if you want to send more data then this is called first frame so this is not a single frame this is a first frame and after that the flow control uh, has been sent after flow control sent then this is a consecutive frames so these are all consecutive frames uh, frames this is a flow control then this is a single frame this is a tester and ecu so this is a concept of flow control so why exactly the flow control is required is now you can come to know right so the flow control exactly require requires to satisfy all the data that the ecu or tester wants to transmit here the tester is a transmitter ecu is a receiver in some cases ecu may be the uh, transmitter and tester may be the receiver at the time tester wants to give the flow control that all the possibilities we will see in the upcoming tutorials but as, as of now we have to understand why the flow control is flow control is required to transmit n number of data that is what exactly n number of data is it is more than 8 bytes of data 7 or 8 bytes so that once if we mix with the PCI length then it will come to know what exactly need to transmit but as of now you just understand for sending more than one frame you need uh, that means for sending more than one frame that is for sending consecutive frames you need flow control to be transmit so this is all about the concept of flow control i guess you understand something if you really doesn't aware of the flow control concept yes it will be helpful for you if you are already aware yes it is uh, still have a kind of recap and uh, new experience to learn this flow control and the all the overall concept of transporting this data is called can tp that is transport protocol all right so here we have mentioned and uh, many lemon terms and uh, lemon examples but in our next uh, tutorial we'll completely into the technical terms that what we exactly start we, uh, we are starting to work or we are already working on so the, if you understand the concept then you can understand what are the terminologies comes you can easily map but if you're not understanding the concept then it is very hard to understand it's hard to you know recollect all so also it is not so much to so much complicated to um, understand it's our daily life so you are giving something uh, if the person has uh, enough thing to give it in in the, by the own he can give else you have to give and uh, more plates or more bags whatever it is that is a kind of that is a concept of flow control and consecutive frames so we'll get back in the next tutorial that is can tp flow control part 2 you can follow us uh, in the whatsapp facebook instagram the link has been given in the description if you like this tutorial hit a like if you're not subscribe subscribe share to your friends catch you in the next tutorial until then bye